Look how we got an Indian girl here, or a woman, pardon me. Uh oh. Where are their parents? Well, I'll tell you where they're not. At home reading my column on how to control your kids in public. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Rita. But you know what, besides that, it's kind of weird they got Shrek 1, Shrek 2, and they skipped Shrek the 3rd to Shrek Forever After. Really awkward. I love Shrek the 3rd. But I don't have that chunny anyway. It's whatever. Uh, Fire says to sweat my ass. Uh, back when he was a selfish bastard. You know what, I do love watching The Lighthouse, House, even though it's a little bit... I'm going to say it. Like, the fandom is not good because of how they like to basically shit incest of the, of the loud kids. It's really sick, honestly. I don't know why people do that. But besides that, um, after uploading... I'm going to say this. Like, Dion, because you're getting ready to does actually go to the next sensor because I'm going to get another plug because my white one is actually starting to wear down a little bit. Um... I want to talk about a really, really interesting topic, and I just had to share them on the house a little bit, of basically having a, how am I going to say this, I don't like using that word, I don't know, this feels weird, a belly button fetish, or a navel fetish, aka avonolagnia, and what does it mean to actually have that fetish? I apologize, I had to be like all over the place. So basically having a, should I do this in the back, yeah, I can do it top of the seat. Actually, no, that's why I said the vent is a little bit loud. So, basically, after I had a comment from someone, and I can spare like five minutes, of them saying, OMG, not you again, SMH, which means, oh my gosh, not you again, or oh my god, not you again, shaking my head. After I made a video of, basically, one of the guys that I actually had talked to a long time ago, even though he wanted me to actually have a private conversation and delete the, the live streaming, even though I didn't have to, but... I'm guessing because since he's really anonymous, he doesn't want anyone to know about him, which I, which I understand. Um, his name is Shirley Dude. He's a really, really sweet guy. He is. Because I used to talk to him on Kick before I deleted my account. But apparently, I think a lot of people, well, a handful in the past, actually hate my guts just because of, you know, a few incidents that I made. Like having a couple meltdowns in my live streams because I got in cyberbully a lot to basically people making memes about me which didn't turn out so well and then making this other fake stuff about me which has gotten so bad that people actually see me the opposite way which I kind of understand but it was a little bit harsh on their end of them actually doing that and basically after hearing something about discord a while back from what someone told me that there was a hate page about me Basically, people were making fun of me just because I have a navel fetish. A navel fetish, aka Avonel. Well, okay, Avonolagnia, I get them mixed up. Avonolagnia is when you actually have a fetish for stomachs. Avonophilia is basically when you have a fetish for navels, and I got a fetish for both. You know, I'm more into, I guess you can say navels than stomachs. It just depends, really, because I like the way, um, a certain like man's navel is shaped right if it's like a black hole or if it's like a huge like any but it's like an Audi kind of like as much as I hate him Jake Paul's um, navel right that kind of turns me on I'm just being honest I don't like sex but like I like navels right and there's nothing wrong with that especially when I see a man um, sucking in his stomach it's really attracted to me and I remember a while back because I still have my MacBook as well that I actually had someone telling me to go kill myself that's because I have this fetish. I don't know why they were going that far just to tell me that because there's nothing wrong with having a fetish as long as it's not dangerous or pretty yet, um, you know, harming someone if that makes sense. So basically having avono like that is just when you actually get attracted by stomachs, right? And avonophilia because I guess seeing it's weird as a file, right? A file or philia is basically like a dangerous fetish. It isn't. I mean, unless you actually you know, after I've been seeing on YouTube about how when people like to do like navel play, which means you actually finger your navel, right? However, though, um, they would use like knives or, you know, like some type of pins or whatever. Ugh. That, I don't tolerate. Like, you literally could like really get an affection if you do that. And, well, it's just not attractive. 
Because you're just harming yourself when you do that just for pleasure. I don't like that. Like this feeling, this like fingering the guy's navel, like when he stretches, like as he's like in his stomach and him tying over me, it's hot. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I just want to say why people want to put down on someone that's for having a certain fetish. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I just want to share this considering that Vito Day got quite a few views. And I thought, like, Dion, you know, you probably got hit a lot by people. I don't know why they still want to hate me so much. If they don't like you, then why can't they just watch someone else that they actually are inspired to watch? It just doesn't make sense. Like, I don't like the pub waters, right? I hate them. Doesn't mean that I'm going to keep watching their videos. I just, I just don't see the point, if that makes sense. So, you know, I just had to share that as I get this off my chest, especially after I had, like, a rude account. Well, I was the one that set up for that man that, after like days and, and weeks of like telling him that he made me feel awkward, I told him to leave me alone, and he did too. I hope that I never see him again. You know, I think I saw him walking at Walmart or working at Walmart because he works at night. Hopefully, I never bump into him again because I don't like him. He was a little bit strange. So I decided to be off topic because I already have my first year of rude people lately. And my time right now is oh dear, four forty seven. I gotta get out of here. My phone is at 34 percent i need to get a new charger so i just want to share this because honestly there should there should be nothing wrong with having a certain fetish as long as it doesn't harm yourself or even someone else mostly yourself of course because a lot of people don't seem to really get that it's normal it's healthy it's normal and natural if that makes sense and 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 and, and that makes sense right and i've been having this fetish for oh boy for buddha who knows how long i think when i remember seeing when I was like 13, I saw this boy, I think he was like 10 at the time, right? Because, like, this is like a long time ago. I'm sure he's probably like around my age. Well, yeah, he's three years younger than me. But I remember seeing like a kid, right? Because I was discovering on YouTube at the time. No, I think it was 10 or 11. I don't remember. Because, like I said again, I was 13, right? This is like, like, 2008 or something. Way back in the beginning of YouTube. I remember him, like, basically sucking in his stomach and how he would actually make it flex out. My heart was racing so fast because, like, his navel was like an Audi shape, but it was like stretching like a darn eye, and I kind of got like an orgasm during that. Well, I didn't get an orgasm because back then I, like, the only way I thought to masturbate is when you had you had to squeeze your darn um, knees together. Not a good idea because I really could harm myself for doing that. But, because you're supposed to rub yourself, of course. I knew what masturbation was because I was barely a teenager, so. You know, I was still a kid at the time. Well, I technically is, was a kid, but yeah, I just wanted to share a little something about myself because I remember seeing that on YouTube a long time ago because it used to be the trend that a lot of boys would belly dance and how they would suck in their stomach and I think it's called the Nali Korea. It turned me on ever since. And I think that's how I discovered my um, fetish at the time. Oh, who texted me just now? Sorry about that, check my messages very quick. Um, oh, my mom messaged me she said thank you oh she messaged everyone i got lucky finding this one because my mom she got a new car so she deserved it but yeah i just want to share this because i know a lot of people don't like me as it is which i understand but i thought it'd be nice to actually share something a little bit of myself and not to mention i have a crush on naruto and i love noodles and yeah that's just pretty much it and yeah i'm really short it's just our doors are not that tall but yeah I think, yeah, they're not tall. I think if you're like six foot or something, you'd be almost like to the ceiling. But yeah, I don't know. My butter's tall. So, um, I just wanted to share that, you know, because a lot of people have shamed me in the past. And, you know, I just wanted to share something private about myself because why not? So, yeah, that's what I discovered on YouTube about a boy that actually sucked at his stomach so far and sticking it out. Uh, it turned me on ever since. <laughs> so I about that. I mean, when I was, um, you know, 13, I discovered that. So, but yeah, he was, um, yeah, if I remember, the kid was like 10 or 11. And yeah, I just wanted to just point that out. Because this is like one 2008 or 2009 when I seen it on YouTube a long time ago. And it's nice to see Clyde's gay parents. Oh, that's when, um, I haven't seen that episode yet. It's when Luna actually has the babysit Clyde, I think. Huh, go figure. But yeah, that's another problem a lot, a lot, a lot of people don't like about La House is because of Clyde's gay parents. I don't see why. They're just normal gay parents. But yeah, that's when I discovered my fetish. And another, another kid that was like 12 or something, when I was 13, he actually did the same thing. So it was like a trend back then. Sorry about that. That's how I discovered my fetish.
So, <clears throat> but that video was like 10 years ago or something. 